Alright, so now we're continuing. Um, so, the two new functions I've used here are SDLWM set caption and SDLWM set icon. Um, so, basically, for one, for the set caption, you can just set the caption. Before, you would notice that it just said SDL app in the top left corner. Um, but now, we, now this should change it to hey. Um, this basically, you can pass in an SDL surface, which will uh, act as the icon. The icon has to be 32 by 32, and I think it has to be a bitmap. Bitmap, but um, the only thing I didn't show was uh, see right here. So. Yeah, the icons have to be 32 by 32. It doesn't have to be a bitmap. But, um, anyways, moving on. Uh, the one I didn't show was SDL get caption. Um, I didn't really think that was necessary. All that does is it returns the caption that's going to be there. I mean, so all you need to do is just call it and you can use it. So it's uh, not any biggie. But, anyways, so I'm going to run this. So you see, that's the icon. It's red. It says, hey. Alright. So, now, the next thing um, is, this is basically, oh. so now we're going to get into color keying and sprite clipping. So, uh, here we go. Okay, um, I only did the color key in this one. I'll do a quick one about uh, clipping in a second. But um, so take a look at this image. It says "Hello YouTube" red background, and then all this is uh, magenta. It's a magenta color. Um, the background uh, I changed it from black to red because when you don't have a background on your window, it's default black. You know, so. Um, You'll see why that's important in a second. I just made it so you can see this. So here's the new thing. SDL set color key. Um, basically it takes in an SDL surface. So I pass in my formatted image. Takes in a flag. Which you're just going to want to use SDL SRC color key. And then it takes in a color in the form of a UINT32. Um, so I just use SDL map RGB. And uh, use the formatted images format. And then these are the R, G, and B values. So this is R, this is G, and this is B. And magenta is full red and full blue intensity with uh, no green. So uh, everything else is the same. That's the only thing that has changed. So here it is. Now you see how all this is black. And back in the actual image, it's magenta. It's because it color keys all that to make it transparent. And um, basically, uh, the uh, black screen pretty much is just under that. So the black's going to show through. Um, so now, I guess I'll show a quick thing about clipping. Alright, sorry about the cutoff on that last one. I accidentally clicked uh, pause before I was done talking, I think. But uh, regardless, basically, I just added one more thing real quick. Um, so, there's something called an SDL rect in uh, SDL. Um, it's just a rectangle. It has four different components, X, Y, uh, W, and H. So, uh, basically, there's two ways to to make a clip, to clip an image. You can either set the clip rect of the thing. And in this example, I'm going to show you this example before I continue explaining just so you can see it. So you just get this box, that little box. The strange thing is, some of you might be thinking, okay, well, I clipped the image to that box, which is 100 by 100. Actually, I clipped the screen. That's... I. That's something very important I kind of wanted to show. You can actually clip the screen so that you can only uh, blit to certain parts of the screen. If I wanted to uh, reverse that effect and be able to blit to the whole screen again, I could just do an SDL set clip rect. 
buffer and pass in null as the thing and that will let me blit to the whole screen again and I'll show you just by compiling real quick there you go so let that close I'll let it close in the background okay so that's important so there's two ways to set a clip though you can use SDL set clip rect or you can do it right here to set a clip for an image you can't you won't be able to set a clip for your screen with SDL blitz service but you can for your image so I'm gonna show that right now so I'm gonna comment out this line and I'm gonna pass in clip right here well end clip so you see how it gives us the same output that's because now the image is actually being clipped to only uh, show from 0 to 100 uh, horizontally and uh, 0 to 100 vertically um, now here's something if you haven't realized it by now uh, SDL's coordinate system isn't like the simple it's still a Cartesian coordinate system like you've been using in school where you have uh, to to the right X is positive and up is positive and down and left is negative um, that's probably the coordinate system you're used to um, now the coordinate system in SDL is a little bit different going from the top left to the bottom right is positive so basically that means going down and going right is positive and then going up and to the left is negative so that's kind of what all it is is the top and bottom are switched um, so that's really kinda of strange uh, when you if you ever get to OpenGL and OpenGL you can define your own coordinate system which is pretty cool um, I've always just stuck with this coordinate system just because it's a new type of coordinate system and every type of development I've done has that same coordinate system so I just thought it'd be a smart idea you know if it's everywhere I might as well get used to it but uh, so that's pretty much the end I showed you clipping and color keys so um, another thing I want to point out is this video all this code is horrible horrible style um, this isn't the type of style you'd want to use. Um, and the reason being is I'm not really going to show you style. I mean, that's something you need to learn on your own. You need to develop your own style. Um, and really, I'm just trying to show you functions right now. I'm just trying to go through the functions and kind of show how they work. And uh, once we get through all the functions, then maybe we'll I'll make a tutorial on making a game or something. And in that, I'll have some better style and I might even use my framework if it's finished by then which it should be so um... that's the end of this video so uh... peace